Hello everyone, and welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode, we built this fur uh, blast furnace multi-block here, so we could finally finish the long process here of getting some aluminium. And the whole reason we're doing that is to get an MFE, which is an upgrade from our battery box here, so we can charge our jetpack a lot faster. What we need now are these synthetic redstone crystals. We do not have enough redstone, and we do not have enough power to really get this done either. So, first things first, is I think I'm going to go and mine up a whole bunch of redstone. Alright, on my way, I found this little mine shaft here. This is a different one to one I've been in before. And in this chest here, I just found, that's the wrong button, I just found these night vision goggles. Allows the wearer to see in the dark. Which means I can turn my shaders on and still be able to see. Because normally in caves, if I turned shaders on, it's very difficult for you guys to see. But now with these, that is perfect. Shift plus use to activate them. What is the use key? Anyway, I'm going to get some redstone. I've got five already from this chest. Okay, I've got myself a whole bunch of resources, loads of redstone, loads of iron, and quite a lot of diamonds as well. Finding this Fortune 3 pickaxe so early on has really helped me out. Oh, these, are, these goggles properly extend out, don't they? I can't really get a good look at them. Anyway, I'm cutting back here because the original mineshaft I came down in is way over in that direction. But I've stumbled across this one. I've already been in it. But as I was going through here, I realised... What did I realise? I've realised that I've already been in this one. This is not my first time in this, so I've, I've gone through a caving system and come out in a mineshaft I've already been in a long time ago. Well, I don't know, a while ago. See, look, hold on. This water's still draining from when I, I had to climb over this little ledge here. I will take that iron. Mining is so easy with Ultimine. But yeah, I didn't have enough jetpack fuel to get out of this one the first time around. But it's quite cool that it's... that I've just stumbled across it. And I get to come out here and my home is in this direction, I believe. There it is, there's my tall rubber tree. Right, and I have got the chunk of my house is in loaded, so those little redstone bits that I was doing should be done. I didn't take any food into that cave, so I've been surviving on what I could find. I found a couple of barrels full of raw salmon, so I have been surviving on raw salmon for a little bit. Right, those two are done. Let's get couple more in. So yeah, we've got a whole bunch of stuff. I picked a, some emerald ore out of a slime I killed. Okay, right. The dwarven helmet's been replaced by my night vision goggles. I did also find a ring of mining fatigue, of haste, sorry. It's not as strong because it was haste 3 with the helmet. But that was only once I got to deep slate level. But now I've got haste 2 all the time, I've got night vision all the time, and I've got speed all the time. This is quite good. So chuck the helmet away in here for the iron. I can chuck it in here with a hammer. Oh, I've almost fucked that hammer up. I should get myself enough iron plates. Okay, because now it costs two iron per plate. That's the problem without the hammer. I should probably make myself a spare hammer now. Like, always have a spare hammer on hand so I never get into that problem where I have to use more than I'd like. Okay, spare hammer. Check. And then all this iron can be doubled. So what is it? It's two... It's three. Three 
three gets four. That's so it is a little bit of a bonus. I wonder if there, what better ways there are of doing it. I'm pulverize two to three, that's slightly better. Right, it's done those, so I need another stack. And then two diamonds. It's nice, I actually seem to have a bit of power backed up now, so these machines can just run properly. Until it drains like that. Okay, but we're, get, we're getting things upgraded. Slowly but surely. Let's stick some iron dust in cooking. Okay. God, this is a mess in here. The ores I'll take out. Oh, aluminium dust, I can cook that up now. So I kind of just want this to be for resources. I have more apples in here. I should have food now. I do need to get a farm. Really do need to get a food farm. I do still need half a stack of redstone and one diamond. To finish things off in here. And then... I need to combine these with silicon plates. Oh yes, I forgot about the silicon plates. This is a whole new step now, isn't it? Alright, it looks like silicon cell is the only option I really have at the moment. Well, I just had to know. How hard is it to make silicon cells? So, I think it was redstone if I remember correctly. So I need the industrial centrifuge. And from some redstone, I get some silicon cells, mercury cells, ruby dust, and pyrite dust. What's this stuff used for then? Sulfur. I'm sure that will come in handy at some point. Ruby dust makes... Ooh, glass fiber cable. Nice. Mercury. Oh yeah, I don't really get to see what mercury does because this... Just shows me all types of cells in one. So industrial centrifuge is what I need. So I can make it with aluminium or refined iron. I'll use the refined iron because that's much easier to get a hold of. I need an extractor, two advanced machine frames and two advanced circuits. And I spotted while I was editing one of my videos that I skipped past this little recipe here. Where I can do silica oh, silicon plates. Uh, okay, so I'm still not at that level yet, but that's a little quicker way of doing it. Okay, so I've just gotten all the resources together I need to make this. And that should be easy as that. Industrial centrifuge. I, I do not have enough room for all these machines I'm getting. I could hide it right behind seems strange. There we go. Getting power. So now I just need to put some redstone and some empty cells in here. And I should be able to get some silicon. And then silicon plates. So that's going to take a little while to go. Okay, we have ourselves what we wanted, we have some silicon. But unfortunately, the blood moon has risen. So I can't sleep and we can't get any more power. But as usual, the blood moon's pretty, pretty tame, so I'm not worried about it. Just means we can't actually do anything. And then what was it I needed? I just compressed this then, right? Uh, that doesn't... S silicon plates. Oh, blast furnace. You blast furnace the silicon cells. 
I might even have enough power in my blast furnace. Just to get... But that's just for one, isn't it? Yeah, unfortunately that is just one. So we are going to need... So it's a stack of redstone will get you three. So I'm going to need a stack and a half. Because I do half stacks. Run out of power. Right, I just... Stupid blood moon. Let me sleep. Okay, looks like we finally have... Something within the blood moon. It's actually a challenge. So whenever I get close to this horde of zombies, I just start taking drowning damage. Right, and they're going after the golem there. That golem's fucked. Unless he takes out... No. He didn't take out the drowny zombie either. Skeletons are going at each other over here. So maybe the blood moon is getting a little harder. God, those zombies. I can't even go near my own home now. Just live on top of this tower. As long as there's no lightning strike. Right, the sun is finally rising. My jetpack is almost out of fuel. Is that zombie horde still going to be there or can I actually go home now? They're burning. I'm not dying of water damage. Burn! Burn all of you! Oh, I guess this means I can put my jetpack on charge. No, wrong, wrong gizmo. But right, unfortunately, I just need to wait for this to do its thing. Why is it not going? Oh, I don't have enough empty cells in there. Well, I need tin for that, and I don't have tin. Right, what I should have done in that blood moon instead of sitting around doing nothing is I should have gone to get more tin. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of tin, and can I... Oh, I can. It is also three into four here, but I can do that. And then, I wonder, if, is there any way of, like... Duping that into more amounts? No, there is not. Okay, so let's just... We need a better hammer to last longer. What sort of hammers can I get? And can I get enchantments on them? These hammers. I can get a steel one. Diamond hammer. The 40 diamonds for a hammer, though. That's a, that's a lot. Or 20, sorry. 20 diamonds. That's a lot for one hammer. Okay. We'll stick with the iron one for now. I'll get another one ready. Nope, oh, can't do silver. Okay, but anyway, with all this tin, I will now be able to make plenty of empty cells. Oh, they only stack in 16. That is annoying. Why is this not going? Oh, this is going to need to properly have hoppers going in and out of it. Okay, so we're going to need a hopper going into the side of it. I need one coming out the bottom. Probably into another chest. Uh, and do I need to configure sides? So those two should be auto outputting, and then we've got the empty cells going there. Okay, that should be what we need. And 
make ourselves a spare hammer. So if I punch this bit of wood out, can I reach the hopper? I can. Silicon hasn't come out though. Oh, orange. And that needs to be input. So then the silicon goes up into the blast furnace. A bit more redstone. Also going to need that side to input as well. And of course it's night time. Right, well, I'm going to call the episode here. And in the next one, we should finally be able to make the MFE. Because I don't think there's anything stopping us from making anything else. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.